a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. We're going to revisit regional bank ETFs now with our ETF research director, Nina Mishra, who joins me. And it's been a while since you and I have talked about regional bank mm -hmm. ETFs, but yeah. still all eyes are on the Fed right now, mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. they're going to raise uh, rates again here anytime soon. Yes. Um, we may be looking at a June rate yes. hike. We may be yeah, looking at a July rate hike. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Yeah, the June rate hike now looks like a possibility especially after the release of the um, minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so before the release of the minutes, the market saw an 8% probability of a June rate hike. Okay. And now that probability has increased to 38%. Oh, okay. <laughs> and many of, uh, you know, Fed members, they, they have also been in their speeches, they have been warning about higher rates coming sooner than the market anticipates mm -hmm. and their main argument is uh, that economic recovery has been picking up and the labor market has been tightening and the wage growth will eventually pick up with, uh, with the tightening labor market mm -hmm. and uh, with rising wage growth and higher oil prices inflation will also eventually pick up. Oh, sure, it would have to, right? Uh, yes. And uh, low inflation, because inflation, as we know, has been running much below the Fed's target of 2%. So that has been one of the main reasons why the Fed has hesitated from raising rates mm. earlier this year. Now, the, because of these, uh, you know, uh, this rising possibility of a rate hike. Yeah. So how does the how does this benefit now these regional banks? Mm -hmm. So this rising possibility uh, has led to outperformance by uh, financial stocks of late, and banks, as we know, benefit from higher rates because their net interest margin, which is the spread between their uh, borrowing rate and their lending rate, improves. Regional banks, in particular, benefit from more from how, uh, from higher rates because net interest margin is the main source of their earnings. Mm -hmm. uh, taking deposits and lending is their bread and butter main business. Uh, bigger banks, uh, on the other hand, still face a lot of headwinds mm. uh, due to stricter regulatory requirements. Their traditional invest, uh, investment banking and tra trading businesses are not generating profits or much lower profits mm. now. And this rising market volatility has also hurt their traditional trading businesses. And higher and stricter <laughs> sorry, capital norms have led to you know, reduced profitability again. Uh, regional banks, on the other hand, they have a simpler business model. They mm. benefit from l domestic economic recovery and higher rates. Okay. So, I so thought, that's how they benefit. Yes. So because I the it, simpler business model. And rising rates. And right, right. <laughs> and when you put the two together, uh, yes. it works out better for them. Yes. So it may be a good time to look at a couple uh, regional bank ETFs. Let's today. do that. Mm -hmm. One is the Spider S&P Regional Bank ETF, right? Ticker KRE. Yes. This is the most popular ETF in the space. It has more than $1.7 in assets under management. Pretty well diversified. Uh, it is uh, it tracks a modified equal weight uh, in index, so it holds uh, about 100 securities uh, in almost equal weights, charges 35 basis points in expenses, and the dividend yield is currently 1.9%. And Power Shares has one as well. Yes, uh, this is more focused on smaller cap banks, less diversified with um, about th uh, 50 small cap banks. Again, equal weight index, so those securities are, you know, all in almost equal weights, which reduces uh, a company's specific risk greatly. Expense ratio is the same, and dividend yield is about 1.7% currently. Okay, do you own either one? I do not. All right, check out more information on ETFs in the ETF section of Zacks.com. Get on over to the home page, use the top toolbar, the funds tab in the top toolbar to get to that section. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.